big wormy. So today we're taking down garlic and it's kind of a big crop and not everywhere in the world can do garlic but here in Canada it gets cold in the winter. So might as well do some garlic. So this is what we got going on here. I know you've probably seen these earlier in the year when it was just flat on the plastic. But I'm harvesting it today. So we just pull up the plastic, fold it over, and uh, take a fork. You could do less. Could use, I also use this uh, trenching shovel. Uh, put her in, give it a little, a little tilt. And you can hear it sort of starting to come. And then we give it a pull. Whoops! Yeah, and that one just came right off because I didn't pull it hard enough. I didn't pull it underneath hard enough. But look at the size of this one there. Whoa. And you know it's time to come because uh, the bottom leaf or two is starting to go already. For me, I go by time. This year is kind of a little bit of a slow year to get going. So we've... Uh, did things slowly. Now that is the garlic there. That one damaged, but look at the size of the cloves in there. They're like bigger than my thumb. Anyway, so that's how that goes. And then uh, a bit of the waste there, which we'll compost a little later. And you can see there's a lot of life in this ground here. Little pill bugs and worms different things in the ground and there's bits of wood chips still from last year there's a peach pit or a cherry pit things to eat things for the soil critters to eat anyway we'll do another one real quick here hello mr. worm do one that maybe I don't rip the top off there we go that one popped. I'll just take this bit of ryegrass out of the way there. And this is the way that we have the least amount of weeds in here. Just to have this bit of tarp here as a weed barrier. And then there we have nice heads of garlic. So that's how it's done. Maybe I'll do one uh, video about how I prepare the beds in the uh, in the fall as well. On these particular beds I sowed rye. Once I flattened the ground I sowed rye and then crimped the rye and put compost about two inches thick uh, and then put the tarp on and planted into the holes and then just you know didn't look like much throughout the winter but uh, in the spring it came up like crazy and now you can see there's just a little, there's maybe an half an inch left worth of uh, compost. Not even really. It's all been eaten up. Alright. Yeah, there's like the roots left. And another little critter. Yeah, well that's kind of good. I guess they're eating. Hey? Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, subscribe, share to your friends. Tell people not to uh, till their yard, if you can. Anyway, take care.